Let's take a look at the ads that Planned Parenthood is running trying to get teens on puberty blockers. Their bodies match up to their gender identity or how they feel inside about themselves. Your gender identity is real. You should be the one to decide what changes you want to make to your body. If you're transgender or non-binary, you may find that your puberty experiences don't line up with your gender identity or how you see options you can take to delay puberty for a while. They're called puberty blockers and they work like a stop sign by halting the hormone. Puberty blockers are safe and can give you more time to figure out what feels right for you. Puberty blockers are safe? There's a lot of evidence to suggest that that is entirely false. Not only have we seen puberty blockers depleting people's bone density, but even the FDA warned of brain swelling and vision loss in minors who are using puberty blockers. But Planned Parenthood, a supposed healthcare organization, doesn't seem to care about that. In fact, they want you to go to PlannedParenthood.org teens to find out more information about puberty blockers. When we talk about grooming on here, we aren't just talking about adults who are preying sexually on kids. We are also talking about adults who are grooming minors into a cultish ideology in which reality apparently doesn't matter. And when you use a bunch of fun little cartoons and fun little music to assert that puberty blockers are safe, Yes, you are grooming minors into a cultish ideology in which reality doesn't matter. Because the reality is that puberty blockers don't seem to be very safe. But Planned Parenthood seems to think that their cultish ideology matters a whole lot more than the safety of minors.